Amongst us, in our homes and close to the food we eat, live some mysterious, tiny, yet extremely energetic creatures. Much smaller. These are microorganisms, extremely small living beings. There are three different types of microorganisms. The good ones help to produce foods and drinks such as cheese and yogurt, fermented meat, and fermented vegetables. Some other microorganisms are annoying. These are the bad ones. They are responsible for the foul smell, bad taste, and repulsive look of rotting food. But they normally don't cause diseases. But it's the other kinds of microorganisms that we really need to be afraid of. They don't cause food to smell bad, and they don't change the way it looks. They are the dangerous ones, and it's necessary to be very careful with them. These are known as pathogenic microorganisms, and they can cause severe illnesses, such as stomach pains, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and even death. They're deceitful, invisible, and dangerous. These tiny beings are very, very prolific. To increase in number, they need food, water, time, and warmth. They can multiply very quickly. Fortunately, no matter how strong and frightening these microorganisms are, they are preventable and vulnerable. <laughs> it takes as little as five simple rules, five behavior keys to get rid of them. Protect yourself and your family from diseases in the home. The rules are easy to apply. These are your five keys to safer food. Keep clean to prevent contamination. Separate raw and cooked foods to avoid cross-contamination. Cook thoroughly to kill microorganisms. Keep food at safe temperatures, either hot or cold, to prevent bacterial growth. Use safe water and safe raw materials to avoid contamination. Food producers are the ones primarily responsible for the safety of the food you buy. But you can protect yourself and your family from diseases in the home by applying the five keys to safer food. Use them. You also have a role to play.